Hello everyone, this is JLS1114. Um, I have some videos related to my eye disease. If you haven't seen any of those, go check them out. One is just entitled Simply Glaucoma. Another one is eyeglasses um, that I did a follow-up. Um, eyeglasses and in parentheses I have reading glasses about that. Um, so yeah, go check those out if you haven't seen them. Um, there's been some some interest in that video, those kinds of videos. Um, but a bit of interest. Um, I've even helped a couple of people here and there um, out that just found out that they had glaucoma or so they wanted to understand it better. I, so they really appreciated that I made those types of videos. Um, and some that are just really curious. Um, this has seeming to be one, one of, not the most, but one of the more popular subjects that I talk about. I, I try I talk about various things. Um, to you know, maybe you know, catch somebody's attention somewhere about something, you know. So anyway, to give you an even better understanding of people with glaucoma, I thought I would talk about um, the um, how you treat glaucoma. Um, so first off you got to understand again, I've mentioned this before, but let me just remind you, or if you haven't even seen any of the videos, that the main issue with glaucoma is pressure building in the eye. So, to keep it down and keep whatever vision you have, if you have any, some people will just end up completely, completely blind, and some people get lucky and have some vision like me. I have vision... Uh, limited vision. I can see about two feet in front of me in my right eye, and in my left eye, I don't have any vision. All I um, basically, um, all I can basically make out with it is shadows. That's it. So there's a little rundown of that. Um, so anyway, you want to keep the pressure in the eye down. It can't be too high. It can't be too low. This will create an issue um, of losing whatever remaining vision you have, or um, it could even possibly shrivel the eye, and it has to be taken out. So it, it's really hard because it can't be too high, like I said, and it can't be too low. They like it in the teens, mid-teens, that, that's uh, the key. Um, if it goes beyond the teens, there's a little bit of concern. And what I'm talking about is the pressure reading. Um, and if it's way, and if it's like below the teens, that's way too low. So somewhere around 16, 17, that, that's, that's a good score that you have pressure on the eye. So, now after explaining that, one way of treating is through medicine. Let me show you what I take. Um, we, yeah, here we go. I take, which actually I gotta take it now. I, think about it. Um, I take a pill. This is Diamox. This is what they call Diamox. It's 250 milligrams. Now, yes, you're supposed to take it with the water, but I actually um, um, I actually um, had to. Um, yeah, I should have taken it with water, but I'm so used to taking it. I've taken it my whole entire life. I was born with glaucoma. That, that didn't bother me. I take that four times a day. Because, remember, the key is you really can't let the pressure get anywhere. Okay. Now I take, um, I have to take, excuse me, this video. I didn't, I didn't even realize I actually am using the medicine anyway, so you can see me take it. Um, this is polycarpine. 
Wow. Wow. So, take one drop of this. Glasses here. You see, I'm closing my eye so the drop doesn't come out. And then, I'm gonna wait a minute so we'll get to the other drop in a minute. But um, I also take uh, smaller F again. I'm gonna take that in a minute. Put that down. Um, gonna let that one settle. So that's one way, it's through medicine. And there's various other medicines. There's True Soft. I probably have been on every one. There's Pred Forte. Both of those are drops, by the way. The only pill that I know is Diamox. Everything else is usually do drops. Um, I can't think of the other ones, but I, I believe I've been on every medicine that's known for Black Um So, anyway, other than that, if medicine fails and it's goes too high, which happens at times, has happened to me various times, you um, have to go the route of surgery. I've had 13 surgeries, 13, on my eyes alone. Um, one, the last surgery I had, I'll actually talk about one way that, one surgery, to give you an example, is, um, they put a valve in my eye, which is basically, it's a tube, you can't see it, but it's in the front of my right eye. Like, you can't see it if you look, but I told, you know, through a machine, it's like, you can, when people look, the doctors look, it's actually right there, um, in the very, very front of my eye, but you can't see it, just looking. Um, so, and ever since they put that in there, along with medicine, that has been keeping my pressure down, and I haven't had issues since. Um, knock on wood. So, um, very, very, very heavy. Let me take the other drop now. Sorry, I forgot about it. That. So, anyway, depending on, you know, how good, uh, another thing is, it's really important to go for um, eye doctor's appointments constantly, because anything is possible, you know. Fortunately, this pressure thing is, you know, like a game, you really have to stay on it. It's really key to stay on it. So, okay. So, anyway, let me just check the time here. Okay. So, okay, make a good time. So anyway, um, if you have any further questions, comments, please feel free. And uh, I hope this this helped. Anyone who um, wanted was curious, wanted to know more. I thought this would be another approach of you getting a better idea of how glaucoma, glaucoma is handled. Oh, another thing, keep in mind, if you do have glaucoma, Please, if you get sick or anything like that, please, it is very, very important that you um, consult your doctor before taking a medicine, say, for a cough. Because the majority of the medicine out there, if you have glaucoma, you cannot take it. Um, majority of the medicines out there. So if you have a cold or anything like that, you really got to consult your doctor. Do not... I repeat, do not just take it without consulting your doctor. I don't know what it is, something about glaucoma that you have glaucoma alone, a lot of medicines are ruled out of what you can take. So, just keep that in mind, alright? And uh, like I said, I hope this helped anybody in any way. And uh, thank you again for watching. Have a nice day.